how to make your home sell the best while you have animals in it. So first things first, is get any pet smells out. I know that's kind of like a duh thing, but a lot of people don't realize that their home still might smell like animals, even if they try to keep it clean as much as possible. So you just still just try to keep it clean as much as possible, maybe even spruce up just before any showing or open house you may have. Have your litter box taken care of and hidden. Hidden is such an important thing here, just because you don't want people thinking immediately, oh my gosh, I'm going to be looking for a kitty smell once I see this litter box here. You want to have the dog poop cleaned up out of the yard. That's kind of a uh, given thing, but if people are walking through landmines while they're exploring the yard and everything, that might make them think, oh, maybe I don't want to buy this house. Um, you might want to just have light refreshing uh, scents out, like candles, warmers, etc. You don't want to go too overpowering on this though. That can also kind of deter people. So I would keep it with light scents such as vanilla, um, cookies, something very, very light and nice and airy, maybe even like fresh linen or something like that. Um, so if you do have cats, you want to warn potential buyers if they're in the home um, or just have your agent warn them if you're using an agent and everything. You want to make sure that they know to not leave doors open as much as it might be just a given, you still want to give them that heads up just so that they can be extra cautious. Uh, for dogs, you want to make sure you get them out of the home with showings all of the time, as much as possible. Take them to doggy daycare, Go, just take them out for a simple walk during a showing. Take them to the dog park for a couple hours. While buyers for your home and maybe somebody's afraid of a dog or something like that, that could ruin any chances of them putting in an offer if they're ambushed by a dog or something like that. You want to make sure that you just put your home in the best light possible. If you have any questions or need anything else, it's Caitlin Mack here in the Tampa Bay area. If you love this video, subscribe. If you loved it even more, check out my dog-friendly guide to South Shore. You'll love it.